Hi guys, it's Michelle. Welcome to my channel, Grateful Creations. Well, tonight we have a 20 by 20 gallery wrapped canvas from Artist Loft, taped, pinned, and sprayed the back. And I am going to be using three different base coats. These are all pearl mix. This is the white. I had mixed this up fresh today. The, this is like a grayish, bluish color, and these are drips that I have uh, gone ahead and strained. And this one looks a little thick. I'm gonna have to add some water. And then this one's like a taupey color, and I really, really like this. And uh, yeah, this one looks a little thick too. So I'm gonna show you my colors. We have Modern Masters Iridescent Pearl White. I added just a couple drops of golden titanium white to that too. This is Modern Masters Iridescent Gold. This is Soho and it is, these are left, some of these are leftover colors and this is the Soho I used the other day, but now I've added some of the red dye in it to make it a little more, um, make it go shadow pour. But tonight I think what I'm gonna do is put down the colors and then no, I'm not. <laughs> I'm gonna put down the base first, then put the colors down, then blow it. It's kind of like a melting um, pearl pour, like Sarah Taylor does, but these colors have the red dye in it instead of just the uh, color art. I do have one color art color. This is the Soho Mineral Blue. This is actually Free Night, Free Night from TLP and it is um, mixed with just a tad of the Soho, um, Soho turquoise. I just added a little GAC 800 to thin it out a little bit. I don't add water to any of the pigments. We also have waterfall, and I have added a little bit of the turquoise from Soho as well. Just trying to tie some of the colors in. Uh, we also have Brulee from TLP. Really pretty. I don't know if I have enough of that. And we have, this is Robin's Egg from Color Art. Very pretty. And it doesn't require any red dye. It just does, it's, that's how the, I discovered this all <laughs> in the first place. Um, it just does it on its own. Um, carpet. I haven't been promoting, <laughs> I don't really promote anything. I, um, I haven't been promoting the vacations here because it has been cold. It's cold. It's cold here. This is um, golden carbon black and I didn't add anything to this because it's already uh, very liquidy. And I do have a, this is, I don't know if I'm going to use it. Modern Masters Antique Copper. I'm not sure if I'm going to use it or not, but it's there in case I, you know, I mix up a bunch of colors and sometimes I use them and sometimes I don't. And, uh, I do test tiles to see what looks good. And, um, sometimes there's colors that get mixed So we are going to start. Please do not tip these. I've already tipped two over tonight. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is put the white on the top here. So, kind of in a circle. Oh, I did wanna add water to these other two. Give them a quick stir. Because these are drips, you really want to strain them. And there might still even be, you know, a little something, something in there, hopefully not. But I added some more DecoArt um, satin enamel to it to give it a little bit more oomph. Oomph? Is that a word? Let's call Webster on that. So then I'm gonna put this gray, blue, green color around here. And then I'm going to put the taupey color around that.
and it's it would be hard for me to although I did try it on a test tile for me to put this down put the colors down and then put um, another layer of this on so I'm just going to tilt it around make sure I get enough of the pearl mix off and keep some of the color. I might have to add some more because it looks like I've got too much white and gray and I'm losing my taupe, totally. Mm -hmm. We can add more. These are drips, so at least uh, I'm using them. <laughs> All right, I am going to add more around. is really reactive too on the test tile. I always do test tiles. It's not just for composition, but for consistency, color, you know, the three C's. Consistency, color, and composition. Come on, baby. I have no idea how this is gonna turn out. We never do, do we? <laughs> Now I have way too much of the taupe. All right, let's bring it down. We need to get some of that off anyways. And then I'm probably gonna blow it, as I usually do with these pigments that are, um, I actually wrote to Rip Dye today to tell them what I was doing. <laughs> Just for giggles. I'm kind of liking that. have more drips now. If you guys do want to come down for a vacation, I don't open my house to just anybody. So, um, and I'm opening it to you guys because um, I love you, man. <laughs> I love you, man. And um, Kathy Mackey has spent some time here. So if you have any questions about the kind of service you get here, you can co contact her. Uh, okay, here we go with our colors. Where do I want to start? <laughs> I think I'll start with the darkest colors. Um, okay. I'm being pretty generous here, aren't I? <gasps> Shocking. night. I don't know if I introduced, yeah I did. Robin's egg blue. That I'm going to put up where the white is because it is just a gorgeous color. I need to pull some back. Jeez Louise, Michelle. All right. This is the iridescent iridescent white, pearl white, and here's the gold, iridescent gold. Yep, lots of color. I don't like this line right here. I was looking for my, my catalyst wedges and I can't find them. So I have done a really good job of cleaning up here because I can't find some stuff. And here is, where do we want to put this? We want to put this. This is the brulee. And we're going to tilt it out. All right, here we go. Lots of, oh my goodness. Why do I put so much paint on? So I have something to work with, I guess. Sometimes it's better to have too much than not enough. And sometimes it's not better to have too much at all. <laughs> Possibly in this situation. I'm losing all my mineral blue. 
That's not what I wanted to do. It's so much easier on a small tile, you know? So if you do want to come down for a vacation when it starts to warm up here, because I've got my socks on and my I've been wearing, uh, I, I'll, I'll be honest, I don't have any heat right now. I was going to get it fixed and I thought, you know what, it's going to be warm before you know it. So, nope. But um, yeah, it includes bed and breakfast and it also includes art lessons and all the materials. So, um, wow, look at this. What are we gonna do? I think we're gonna have to blow it out. Oh, this is really pretty. The um, iridescent, um, I mean, I could leave it like this and just let it go, but I don't think I'll do that. Um, I'm gonna grab my Berta, and actually this time, I am taking off the concentrator just to see how that works. And we have a lot of paint on here, so I'll be able to blow a lot of it off. So I'm gonna go high fan, cool. noticed it but I put, I left a lot of paint in the center so I had to blow it all out to the side so what I'm going to do now is add a little bit more of the darker colors hopefully I have some I have a little and maybe blow it with my mouth I think and then I will hmm, I'm gonna do this got to keep your composition in mind when you're doing this but these there will be see there's already um, some pearls coming up there and okay I might put some black in here too start blowing right oh geez Louise okay that's easy to, easy to fix you just take your finger and dip it here we go
Oops. Oh, jeez, Louise. I just dipped my... <laughs> I want more mineral blue. I might have to mix some more up. This is looking really pretty though. I'm going to put some black in too. Take that guy out. It's pretty. Some of this paint put it into a well and I'm gonna actually give it a torch too so far so good now with the black you really want to be um, especially don't I don't like to get it around the the gold. It just, for me, it just doesn't do it for me. And um, you gotta be very sparing with it. So, looks like we could use a little bit there. Very sparing. <clears throat> I have mucked up my composition with black before. Well, that's right, you guys saw that. up some more of the mineral blue and I'm gonna put you guys on time-lapse and uh, yeah I like this taupey color that's coming through it's it's uh, it's and this looks heavenly <laughs> it just does um, that's the Robin's egg from color art it's just spectacular all right guys I'm gonna put you on time-lapse I'll be back You know, it's one of those things though. It's like, I think it's good, but tomorrow it might not be. <laughs> and I do have a cataract in one of my eyes. I'm gonna be getting surgery soon, but maybe I think my art is better than I <laughs> it really is. But look at that Robin's egg right there. It's so beautiful. And it just blends right up into the white. Well, these these tend to but especially with that white up in the center top and then um, I wasn't sure about this 
but the taupey color, but I kind of like it. And I did add one more dot and it's still growing. In the morning, it'll be bigger, you know, in that one spot of the white. And I ended up putting some of the black into um, the blue, the mineral blue, and it made like a blue black, which I'm happy about that too. So, you know, you just keep pots in with your, your paintings until it gets to a point where you really love it. And uh, yeah, you don't have to give up on them. So I'm uh, gonna head to bed now, finally. And uh, please be safe and create. Please like, share, and subscribe. Ciao for now. And all my art is for sale. And you can contact me at gcfluidart at gmail.com. I have a website, which I need to add to. And um, yeah, and if you you guys are interested in a three day vacation, um, I've got the spot for you. If you want pictures, I can send pictures too. So um, yeah, it's it's a cute little place. It's not huge, but it's, it's nice. And I've got a very well stocked um, art um, studio. So you're in. <laughs> Bye guys. <laughs>